It gives me great pleasure to introduce our president, Brother Edwin O'Neill, who will deliver the president's address. I trust it will be one just as fiery as the previous ones. So I welcome you to sit back and to enjoy the presentation as delivered by our very energetic and passionate president of the Congress. Let's welcome Brother Edwin Tony. Morning, all. Well, the protocols have been properly and firmly established um, by previous speakers, so I do not intend to go through them all over again. Um, so, welcome all of you. Uh, I hope that inherent in your introduction, Mr. Master of Ceremonies, that at the right old age of 65, I have not now only become an object of entertainment. Uh, I, I certainly hope that I am as passionate as I have always been, but I guess that the passage of time has allowed me to present that passion in a way that is no less intense, but is more acceptable to those who are in the hearing of my voice. So I'm thankful this morning to be addressing the conference for the final time in my position as president since uh, uh, I've already tendered my resignation to the executive board. And at the conclusion of this conference, you can properly refer to me as past president. The occasion provides an opportunity for Barbadians and the labor movement to reflect on the past and to have a bright hope for the future. I'd like to borrow from Shakespeare in the conversation between Buddhists and Cassius. There is a tide in the affairs of men, which when taken at, at the flood leads to fortune. I implore the members of the labor movement and more specifically of the Congress to seize this opportunity on behalf of the working class. And we may not get the fortune, but we may become more firmly entrenched and valuable to the Barbadian society. 2023 has been the year of salaries negotiations. A lot has been said in the aftermath of the settlement. A lot of it has been filled with inaccuracies. I want to remind ourselves and the wider Barbadian society that CITUSAP is an umbrella organization of the labor movement. And no matter how tempting it is to be dramatic, we must maintain the integrity and focus on labor issues. I 
advice that and I have seen the impact on other things. But if we are to build and fortify the movement in the age of transformation, we must have narrow and laser-like focus because the labor movement provides opportunities for those who may not be as committed to building the nation to hijack it. And whilst the labor movement is a political organization in the sense of what the politics means, we must always guard against partisan political debates. So there must be the stout and stiff resolutions never to do for short political gain or popularity. That's my advice is to ask some very basic questions whenever faced with these situations. And the basic question that I ask is how does this issue impact on labor? Whatever is out there in public discussion, in the public forum, the question for all committed trade unionists who are looking to build and fortify is how does this issue impact on labor? Is national insurance and the impending changes, variations, adjustments impact on labor? Resoundingly, yes. And if we accept, then we must be prepared to fully engage and pursue our participation to a reasonable conclusion for the benefit of those of us who have contributed to the National Insurance Fund and Scheme, but ever mindful that national insurance is an integral part of the Barbadian society. And no matter how protective, how emotional we feel about it, our inputs must be with the understanding that at the end of the day, it makes no sense in having short-term views and then wreck the longer term, which is bubbles. Is the state of crime in this country of concern to the labor movement? Certainly. We don't want our workers being injured on the job. We don't want the sanctity of the homes that they sacrifice for and build to be violated by an element that is determined to hurt and to destroy. Is the promotional systems in place, including the qualification orders impacting on labor? If the worker does not feel that they have an opportunity through fair play to start at the bottom and raise to the top. Uh, and or then artificial constraints are being put in the way of such legitimate expectations, then we can all pack up and go home because it makes no sense working anymore because that is a system 
that will ensure that the best do not necessarily get to the top. And those are only a few examples to illustrate the point that when I, when I ask, does this impact on labor that we should see clearly through crystal eyes and not through mild waters as to what the moral imperative must be to protect and defend the gains that we have built and has been built throughout the years. Congress has survived as long as it has because we have always been able to be reasonable and to hold the center. Indeed, let me borrow again from those who are found in history's pages. And this saying, I want to refer to W.B. Yeats in his work, Things Fall Apart. The sinker cannot hold. Those of you who may be somewhat young may not be aware that Yeats was writing about the chaos evidence in Europe, and more particularly in England, in the aftermath of the destruction of the World War. The center cannot and will not hold unless and until all trade unionists and trade unions hold fast to the founding principle of all for one and one for all. Figuratively speaking, the Barbadian society and economy is in a war for survival. And if we do not hold the same thing, the chaos of which Yeats wrote about in his native land will be visited on us, metaphorically speaking. As the Barbadian society survives the ravages of the external pressures, we all must focus on maintaining the nation state and that aspect of the Barbadian culture which makes us uniquely Barbadian. Throughout my time, there have been high points and low points. I suppose the one that is at the pinnacle is the fact that Congress has been able to resuscitate the notion of a media rally and that we've gone right back to the birthplace where some historians write that that's the beginning of the nascent trade union movement where the Clementines and Osborns and others in Golden Square called on the Barbadian masses to take a stand in 1937 and that all of the social justices of which the labor movement has been in the forefront got its birth right there. And the fact that Congress returned to that place two years ago to start again the media rally is, to my mind, the greatest tribute that could be paid to those who made the ultimate sacrifice and other sacrifices that we in Barbados today, enjoy the standard of living that we now enjoy. There have been highs, and there have been lows. And I suppose the lowest point of my time was when, as a trade union, as a trade union movement, we abandoned the principle of the strong standing together 
in defense of the weak. It is a memory that will, in all probability, stay with me until my dying day. I hope it is never, ever repeated again in the annual, in the annals of the Barbadian labor movement. So, as I take my leave, I urge that the labor movement recommits to being the voice of the worker who may be impacted by all the vices and others to which I just adverted. The reality of a safe work environment as we rebuild, as we re-energize in preparation for the transformative environment, society, and workplace. The health and safety in the workplace cannot be sacrificed for short term. Again. The dignity of work and the hope of a prosperous, safe Barbados, I trust, will always be foremost in the minds of us as we move towards a better time and a better day. Thank you. And before I step away from you, I also want to thank those who have been advisors, those who have been guides, those who have been the ones that, to which I could turn when at the, at the worst moments of the struggle. We in Barbados have a glorious tradition or had a glorious tradition until recently on the cricket field. So I can still um, draw images of cricket that most of us can identify with. So you know, in the victorious team, even the top batsmen may score not, but the tail end of a pop up an end. Uh, the bowlers will do what they're supposed to do. The fielders will take catches. I say that to say that everybody contributes to the success. I ask you, so I thank all of those if my tenure has been successful, I thank all those who may have played a part in keeping me grounded, in keeping me focused, and helping me struggle along the way. Thank you and much obliged. <laughs>